Hi, everybody. This is Gail. Let me get things done. Uh, just wanted to let you know I have not dropped Arms of the Earth. Um, I want to hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know I did. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a little while. Um, the last time I came to you, I said that I would really like to uh, work hard and get my craft room going. And you can kind of see some of my craft room. Um, I'm using my old computer for this. I, and that's another long story. Uh, you can see that this room is still a mess. Look around. It is still a mess. But it's much better than it was. At least I can get in here and get to my desk. But to make things worse, now I have this to contend with. Isn't that cute? Um, I'll tell you about that, and then I'll go on to just other stuff. Um, about two weeks ago, I went outside, and we have had gravel delivered. And there's, you know, it's not spread out very well. So I went out with a rake to try to smooth out some gravel. And I thought it was a little tough. I didn't want to have to worry with, you know, so I thought, well, maybe I better wait till we have something other than just this rake. And then my daughter also, oh, hi, I didn't know if anybody would catch me or not since I'm going live. Nice to see you guys. But um, anyway, my daughter has, been, has had uh, surgery. You know, it's always something. But my daughter had surgery, and so I've been taking care of her. And that, you know, as she started feeling better, even though she couldn't drive, she started wanting to go places because she was getting stir crazy. So being the good mother that I am, I uh, took her out. So anyway, so she's been around. Um, you know, but anyway. Um, she is crocheting. She she learned how to crochet. That's how desperate she was to have something to do. Uh, we were walking around Walmart one day and she saw some faux fur yarn. And she went, oh, this is so soft. This would make the nicest scarf. I think I'll make one. And I said, and how are you going to make it? She goes, well, I don't know. What do you do to make a scarf? And I said, well, probably crochet. And she goes, oh, and I said, who's going to teach you how to crochet? And she goes, well, you are, of course. So that's the last thing. My daughter is not, I mean, she's feminine. She's not a masculine person, but she's not a girly girl. She had two older brothers that she had to defend herself against. So she had a lot going on growing up. So anyway, I, she was working on everybody else's uh, stuff. And she had bought a yarn for herself. And I said, well, when are you going to do yours? And she goes, well, I don't know. I'll wait till everybody else's is done. So I thought, well, I'll help you. I'll work on yours. So I started working on hers. So I crocheted for about two hours, which is not anything unusual. I've crocheted for years, but I haven't lately. But anyway, that was on a Wednesday night. Was it Wednesday night? No, it was Thursday. And my wrist started right through here, started hurting a little bit. So I thought, well, I probably pulled something in the carpal tunnel area or whatever. So I put a little brace on to help, you know, keep my wrist straight for a while. Wore it all day Thursday. But then when I sat down, after, uh, I'm sorry if I keep hitting the desk and it makes my camera shake. Um, Friday night I was fixing pizza and I took the pizza out of the oven and I had one of those, you know, those rolling pizza cutters and I, um, was cutting the pizza and one of the times when I was out straight, you know, like, like this, all of a sudden it was like I had this knife stuck right in here, right in that joint. And this burning pain came up my arm. And 
I mean, I screamed. It was the worst pain. I don't know. I don't know the last time I felt pain like that. But it was pretty bad. And then after that, I couldn't move my fingers. If I moved my fingers at all, my whole arm hurt. So I put another brace on, one that had a, a steel uh, plate in it. And then the next day, we went to the orthopedic place. Saturday, of course, these things only happen on weekends. Went to the orthopedic place. They checked it. Nothing was broken. And um, they said nothing looked out of place. My thought was that I had popped a tendon. You know, there's dozens of tendons that run through your hand. And I honestly thought one of those tendons had, pour, had pulled loose. And it may have. If it has, we haven't discovered it yet. But Anyway, they did x-rays, said nothing was broken. They did see arthritis in there. So they put me in this brace, and I am to wear it 24 hours a day, except when I take a shower, for three weeks. I went to hand therapy uh, Tuesday, and hoping that he could say, Oh, excuse me. Hoping he would tell me that I could... Uh, take it off sometime during the day. No, the only time I can take it off is when I do some water therapy with my hand. Um, of course, when I take a shower and he said, if I'm going to be sitting for a long period of time watching television, I can take it off then because I'm not doing anything. And I told him, I said, well, you know, I don't just sit and watch TV. I'm either working on my computer or coloring or something. He goes, no coloring. Um, if I'm going to be working on a computer, leave it on. Then I'm sitting to watch TV. I can take it off. Other than that, it has to stay on. And I see the orthopedic doctor on the 17th of December. So until then, I am stuck with this. And of course, being a polymer clay person, as well as a card maker, I can't do anything. So in addition to me being off because of getting ready to move and then after my move, now I'm not going to be able to do anything much, uh, you know, and I don't know until after the 17th. But I will say I did do a uh, Patreon uh, video a couple of weeks ago. Of course, that's before I hurt my wrist. And, you know, that worked OK, but I forgot I haven't. I, I hadn't hurt my wrist, but now I, there's not much I can do with my right hand until I get this thing off. I can't turn. My whole arm will turn, but my wrist won't turn. And uh, you ought to see me when I eat because I can stab the food with my hand and bring it up to my mouth. But the fork is at a weird angle and I can't turn my hand to get the fork where it goes to my mouth. So I, you know, I chase my food around. So I asked the guy if I could take it off when I eat. Nope, because that's the position I'm not supposed to turn my wrist in. It still hurts a little bit uh, after my therapy Tuesday. And I thought I was feeling pretty good. Then I went to therapy. But it's been kind of achy since then. And when I do my water exercises, it just kind of sort of a toothache kind of ache. So I guess I have to do what they say. But that's putting, you know, whatever I can do, I have to have, you know, I have to do with one hand. So needless to say, I can't make cards or make anything with clay with one hand. So I'm so sorry. I just feel like I've been making excuse after excuse for not, um, you know, for not doing any tutorials. But I am going to, I've been releasing every once in a while, I'll release a Patreon tutorial, uh, hoping that you'll enjoy those. But I'm beginning to run out of those. So hopefully there'll be enough to last. I think what I'll do is I'm going to wait until after the holidays. That way it will give my arm plenty of time to rest. Um, I think when the holidays are over, uh, probably after Christmas, because I don't do a whole lot between Christmas and New Year's. So I might be able to get something done in there as long as the doctor tells me it's okay. and. And that I don't need any surgery. That's the thing that I'm not looking forward to. But anyway, Thanksgiving. I hope everybody had a 
wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, I did. My, it was, again, a long series of events. My daughter's birthday is November 29th. And it never falls on Thanksgiving, but it often falls the day after Thanksgiving. And uh, so I went to, um, uh, I was going to, what we normally do, let me back up a little bit. Sorry. My daughter's surgery, the doctor had told her at the time of the surgery, she could go back to work in four to six weeks. Well, after four weeks, she was so bored. She really thought she was going to be able to go back to work. So she would have gone back to work the Monday before Thanksgiving. And she thought that way I can work three days and then I'll have Thursday off. She And normally we go to my niece's house for Thanksgiving. The whole family from both sides of her family, you know, come over there. And she says, but I'm not going to feel like going to Anne Marie's. For, Christmas, for Thanksgiving. I'm just going to be too tired after working three days when I've been off so long. So I agreed. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, instead of doing that, why don't I fix your birthday dinner? Uh, I try to fix my children's favorite foods for their birthday. And my, other, my oldest son's birthday was in uh, November, November 1st. So he and his girlfriend came over for his birthday meal. And I, she told me then, she goes, I already know what I want for my birthday. I want shrimp and grits, which I don't know how many of you have ever, have ever had them. Uh, the first time I had them, I went to my youngest son's house. who li He lives about three hours away. And he said, uh, uh, Rusty and Becky, who were past his pastor and or former pastor and his wife, have invited us all over for dinner tonight. and We're having shrimp and grits. And I said, shrimp and grits together? And he goes, honestly, mom, you're going to love it. And I did. I absolutely loved it. So I went online and found Bobby Flay's recipe for shrimp and grits, which was the closest to Becky's. It's the only recipe I've been able to find that was like Becky's. And it's awesome. So she said, I would rather you just fix some shrimp and grits for my birthday. I said, well, that's good. I said, I'll ask uh, Chris and Millie, that's his girlfriend, if they want to come. So it, right after we talked about that, then my oldest son calls and he goes, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? And I said, well, I'm not sure. I said, right now it looks like I'm going to be fixing shrimp and grits for Rayanne's birthday dinner. Why? And his girlfriend is an RN and she was going to have to work on Thursday, on Thanksgiving Day. So he said, I thought I'd come over there. And I said, well, I'm fixing shrimp and grits if that's what you want. He goes, oh, that would be awesome. So he was going to come over. Now, this is all before I hurt my wrist. Well, then my youngest son ended up calling my daughter to talk Christmas. And he asked her, you know, what are y'all's plans for Thanksgiving? And she says, well, actually, we're not going to do, do Thanksgiving. Mom's going to do my birthday lunch. She's going to fix shrimp and grits. And he goes, oh, I've got a new recipe for shrimp and grits. And that's awesome. And he said, I'll tell you what, what if I, if we come to town, that's him and his wife and his son, why don't we come to town that day and I'll fix your birthday dinner? Well, I thought that was great, you know. Well, then that weekend is when I hurt my wrist. And I said, boy, did this turn out right? Because I would never have been able to fix her meal with my wrist the way it is. So my, I had all of my children together. One of my grandchildren, I've only got two, but the other one uh, was at his uh, mother's family for Thanksgiving this year. And uh, so it was me and my three children and then my middle son, my youngest son's uh, wife and my grandson. And we had the best time. They came Wednesday night, spent the night with me now that I've got room for people to spend the night. And uh, it was just a nice visit because normally when we all get together, when it's all of us together, it's usually a big family thing. And I have to share them with 20 other people. And this time it was just good one-on-one -on -one time with, with them. And I just, I loved it. It was, you know, as a mother, um, 
you know, it's, you know, that's the important thing is having your children around. You know, that's that's what makes me happier than anything is having all of my kids here, especially now that they're adults, because they're such good adults. They're awesome. And I just love them to death. I'm so proud of them. But anyway, that was Thanksgiving. So I hope everybody else had a good Thanksgiving. Uh, Christmas is going to be a little spread out again this year for me because this son that lives three hours away, his wife is a pharmacist. She's the one that has breast cancer for those of you that have been following me for a while. And uh, she's got metastatic breast cancer and her scans have been clear the last couple of times. So we're just praying that they stay clear, but uh, there, it's always a cloud hanging over her head, but they're coming the weekend before Christmas because she has to work the weekend after Christmas. Well, then my sister has a son that lives up in Maryland and he's got two children. And he told my sister that he's coming down the weekend after Christmas. So it's like, okay, so how are we going to do Christmas this year when we have children coming in, in on opposite weekends? So my sister and I got together today and we got that all figured out. But, um, you know, it's just, it gets complicated when your children grow up and get, uh, get married and have their own families. Um, let me just look and see what kind of comments are on here. Yeah, Carolyn, I, the place that I went was an ortho, like a clinic. It was a, sort of like a uh, urgent, not even urgent care. Yeah, I get maybe like an urgent care place. But it's they don't have the machinery. It was just a uh, they did have an X-ray machine, but they don't have that kind of equipment. That would be across the street in the hospital, and I just I, it was all everything was closed. But uh, I'm a little curious what the doctor's going to say when I go on the 17th, because I still feel like if this doesn't get any better pretty quickly that it could be that a tendon popped. And that's what a, a CT or an MRI is the only thing that's going to show that. But uh, thanks for asking. And I'll keep everybody up to date, even if all you do is see me in my unfinished craft room. But, um, you know, I am going to rest. Thank you, Marcel. Uh, I am going to rest. That's all I can do. I mean, Everything I try to do with one hand either is done sloppily or I end up hurting myself because I only do it with one hand or I can't do it at all, one or the other. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that I was still around and that, you know, I will be back with polymer clay as soon as the doctor lets me. Um, I just don't want to do anything to mess it up. I'm, I've lived long enough to know that you follow doctor's orders. So uh, I would like to know from those of you that are uh, looking at, at this live or even the ones that are watching it uh, as a replay, let me know how this video is, how it looks on your end, because I noticed at the beginning, especially it looked like it was buffering an awful lot. And if it was, I may not be able to use my old computer. So that was another thing. I've been trying for a week to do this video. Uh, one of the things I did do was uh, with the money that I got from my house is I bought a new computer because my other laptop, it, honest to goodness, and I'm not exaggerating, it takes 20 minutes for it to boot up to where it's completely booted and I can pull up the internet. You know, it takes that long for it to to uh, boot up and it's a it's a beginner level I mean I never buy an expensive uh, uh, laptop so this time since I had the money from selling the house I thought you know this is probably the only time in my life that I will have the extra money so I went a step up so instead of buying a $300 laptop I bought a $700 laptop works great I love it it is so quick I can turn it on and uh oh good okay thanks carolyn i'm uh did you watch it from the beginning because that's where i noticed on my screen it could have been my computer that was buffering and not youtube that's why i needed to know this but anyway um 
So I came in here and I kept trying to do a live and it kept telling me that I couldn't do it. And I went, what do you mean I can't do it? Because I, I did one not too long ago. Of course, it was on my old laptop. So I kept on and kept on and kept on. So finally, I got really frustrated after about three days of trying. And uh, good. Thanks, Carolyn. I appreciate that. But I kept trying and I said, okay, this is ridiculous. So I did a search. Um, you know, I, I'm a Google fanatic. My daughter fusses at me all the time because every time I think of something, if I don't know, I just Google it. That's just the way I am. So uh, I Googled uh, doing, because uh, another thing on this laptop, because it's a new laptop and I'm trying the Microsoft Edge as my browser. I usually use Chrome. I like Chrome. Um, you know, I like the way it works, but I thought, well, let me try the Microsoft since this is a brand new laptop. Maybe that'll work fine. Well, come to find out, Microsoft Edge does not support live streaming. I went, you are kidding me. After three days of trying, and it, I mean, I never got an, I mean, the error I got was just uh, not able to go live or something like that. So I said, okay, well, then I'll switch over to Chrome. So I downloaded Chrome onto the new laptop. Of course, nothing is set up. Everything was brand new. It was like I'd never been in YouTube before. So I had to get all that set up. And then it wouldn't let me uh, stream. It, what said that stream live stream was not available. So I don't know if that means that YouTube was down for a little bit this morning. So I just gave up. So this time I decided um, I would use my old laptop, but it's so much slower than my new one. And I want to make sure it's going to work properly before I start doing tutorials. I'm probably going to start doing my tutorials as lives instead of recording them and editing them and then uploading them only because I've got a, my internet where I live now is not as good as the internet when I lived in, in the city where I was, you know, where I had Fios and high speed internet. The high speed internet here is high speed for downloading, but when it comes to uploading, it's very slow. So I'm afraid it would take all night long to upload a video so I'd have to start it uploading when I go to bed and hope that it was finished when I got up in the morning. So um, I'm going to try doing them live, which means you'll see all my mistakes and my boo-boos and everything else. But that's what I'm going to try to do, which will force me to be a little bit, bit more prepared when I do the videos because I'll have to have all of my stuff out. I'll have to have everything in front of me, which now I've got a really nice big work surface. So I should have plenty of room to get all my stuff out and have it sitting here when I'm ready to do my live. So, and I've got a Rascog cart. I know you can't see it unless I move the, um, move the camera. And I don't want to move the camera because it took me forever to get it to where you can see my face. But I got a, I have a Rascog cart that I've set up for all of my, excess tools and things. I've got two of them. I've got one from my paper crafting and one from my polymer clay. So my goal is after the first of the year to also do some paper crafting videos because I really do love it. I've got stuff here I want to do. I'm supposed to make, a friend of mine asked me to make her some uh, sympathy cards. Excuse me. She uh, has needed some lately, and she said she she's at an age, like all of us get eventually, where we need sympathy cards. And so she's asked me to make some, and so I got out my favorite stamps to make some sympathy cards, and now I can't do them. But anyway, I thought I would do those on camera just so people could see the versatility in, ma in making, uh, you know, making your own cards. I love it. So, oh, okay, Lorna. Is that Lorna? I can't, or Loma. Loma Payne. Uh, I'm sorry, nothing was happening. You mean you were trying this and nothing happened? Because I don't know. 
this, this is just a mystery to me. I don't usually go live, not this way. I used to do videos. You, oh, that's another reason I'm going to go live because I don't have another video editing software to use. I was using Microsoft Movie Maker, which I kind of hijacked on the other computer. As a matter of fact, it might still be on here, um, which I could do a real quick uh, live and then upload real quickly. But we'll see. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. So if I don't get back before Christmas, or I'll try to get come back after I see the doctor on the 17th, sometime that week to let you guys know what's going on with my arm because it's not fun. You know, like right now, it's just aching right through here. It's just an ache, like a toothache. Not bad, but enough to that I feel it. So I need to go do my water aerobics with my hand. <laughs> and uh, I will be back again soon. Hopefully it won't be too long. So everybody, if I don't talk to you before Christmas or if you don't tune in before Christmas, have a wonderful Christmas and I'll, you know, a ha happy new year or whatever. But hopefully I'll be back soon. Love you guys. Miss you too. Bye-bye. If y'all are still on there, it's because I can't get this to stop. I'm clicking in screen stream and it's just not doing it. <laughs>